33 million people are infected. Two and a half million people continue to be infected every year. Over two million people die every year. The amount of suffering is, is unimaginable. Entire villages have been completely devastated. Many nations have been pushed to the verge of collapse because of HIV. We started Dignitas because what was being done to deal with the HIV AIDS pandemic was good, but frankly not good enough. And we wanted to do our very best uh, to, in the very first instance and as the most important starting point, to respect the dignity of uh, the people that we were working with and the people that were living and dying with HIV AIDS. When we started Dignitas, we were really focused on developing a model of community-based care. How can we get people in their communities far away from hospitals to get access to life-saving treatment and prevention services? Our mandate is to facilitate Malawians to help each other. 80% of the population in Zamba is rural. We wanted to make sure that drugs accessed all of these people without overly burdening the nurses and medical assistants that were working at these health centers. So we basically trained them and created a system where HIV care is completely integrated into regular primary care. Now that we've largely succeeded in terms of developing a replicable model of community-based care that we developed in Zamba District and we've, we're now moving out to five additional districts. What we're going to be doing in Zamba is we're going to continue to pilot new and innovative initiatives. One of the innovative things that we're doing is when we train staff, we don't target a specific cadre of staff. We don't train only doctors or only nurses or only medical assistants. We train everybody. We have nurses talking to medical assistants, talking to doctors. What we're doing is we're breaking down hierarchies. And it sounds very simple. Uh, but in fact, these are changes that aren't going to happen unless you have people around the table feeling like they're a team, feeling like they're working together. And I think that's one of the things that, that we've achieved. The only way that we're going to break the back of this pandemic is to actually figure out how to overcome the barriers that exist in a weak health system. When you talk about strengthening the health system, the worst thing that you can do is to try to create a parallel system. And that goes for, for research or for delivering clinical care. We've worked very hard to make sure that all the research that we're doing is done hand in glove with the Ministry of Health. It's about generating new knowledge, new evidence, and having this impact national and international policy. Marrying both service and research into one organization is really, I think, the core power and strength uh, of, uh, of Dignitas. I think we often see research as being a very abstract thing. It's about numbers, it's about complicated equations and, and, and so on. It really is a, fundamentally is about people. Seeing how improved people get, especially because when people are sick, it, 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 it's, it's very dehumanizing, I think, when you're, when you're in that hospital bed. People want to get back to work, you know, and be productive and take care of other patients. And so to me, that's kind of always been the most rewarding thing. The dignity of one person depends on the ability of community to wisely and compassionately mobilize the best of its mind, of its time, and its resources to take on this pandemic. We can do this. And with that kind of commitment, we can achieve real living results.